We'll be learning how to make a straight skirt with an overlap slit. It's a very simple tutorial. So guys, um, before we start, if you've not subscribed to my channel, kindly do so and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime I upload a new video. Then again, if you find this tutorial helpful at the end of it, you can give me a like and share this video to your loved ones. Let's roll half inch first. We normally have our half inch. That's to indicate our starting line. So this is the half inch. Now guys, this fabric is cut on fold because it's a skirt. So this folded part is facing me, so it's on fold. The skirt length I'll be using for this tutorial is a skirt length of 44. The next thing I'll get is the hip, is the hip length. I'll be using a hip of a hip length of nine inches. Now we have the waist length. This line here indicates the waist length. This is the hip length. Now to get the knee length, you take your client's knee from the waist to the actual knee. So whatever you have there, you're going to minus five inches from it. So let's say this, the knee length is a knee of 24 inches, 24 minus five, that is 19. So I have 19 inches here. Now, this is the waist, the hip, and the nail. So let's impute our horizontal measurement. The three divided by four. I have 8.25. So I'm going to put it here. 8.25. Then I'll add sewing allowance of two and a half inches. Now for the hip, our hip is 40. Four. So 44 divided by 4, we have 11. So I'm going to put the 11 inches here, plus 2 and a half inches. Now to get your nail, the total nail measurement, you're going to minus 4 from it. You can do 5, you can do 6. Depend on how fat your client's leg is. Why some people will tell you they don't want it too tight so that they can climb bike or, you know, like they don't have a car. So if her nail is, if her hip is 44, and I minus four from it, that's 40. So I'm going to put 10 here. So I have 10 inches there, plus the two and a half inch sewing allowance. Now this is a straight skirt. It is not a pencil skirt, this is a straight skirt. So whatever you have on your nail measurement, you're going to put the same measurement at the, at the full length. So the total of what I have here is 12.5. So I'm going to put the 12.5 here. Now let's connect our lines together. All our measurements, let's connect them together. So from here to here. Okay, so mates, we are done drafting the front. Now let me cut so we can draft the back. Now I'm going to bring in this fabric also. So I'll place it like this. Now the total width of what I have will determine how wide you want the overlap slit at the back to be. So for me, I have 18.5 inches here. So let's see if I drop this, let's see what we have. So you're going to place this one. You place it here like this. Now that I've placed the back on the front, so like I said, you have to have enough space on this side so that we can form the overlap slit. Now I'm just going to extend all the lines like this. So guys, the zip allowance for this tutorial, I'll be using one inch. So you put the one inch on the waist side. Then for the hip, I'll be doing 1.5 i'll do 1.5 then from this hip line guys if you are familiar with my tutorial mostly those that have watched my skirt pattern they know this they are they are used to this so from this from this hip i'm going to go down by five inches so 
I will indicate the five inches like this. Now I'm going to connect this one inch to this 1.5. From this 1.5, I'll connect to this place. So just watch how I connect it. So like this, then from this 1.5, I'm going to connect here. Here, I'm not adding any allowance. There's no zip allowance here, like this. Okay, so can you see what I do here? Then from here, I'm just going to take it straight down. There's no allowance on here also. I'm going to stop the overlap on the nail here. On the nail measurements here so this is what I'm doing now from this place here I'll just cut it straight here then from here I would leave it here so watch the way I cut so you just blend here very well so that you can avoid too much curve to avoid bulging okay so now you see what I'm doing here so when you get to this place, you can stop. Now, this doesn't mean everybody have to use this, this slit length. If you want to take your slit down, you can decide to. You just measure any slit length you want. But this is where I want the slits to stop. Okay. Let me do three and a half. So you notch all your joining part points. You notch them. Okay, so mates, we are done drafting this overlap. You can see it's easy. Now, if I'm going to cut on the lining, the lining will be shorter than this by two inches. So if this, the total length of this is 44. So if I'm cutting it on the lining, I'm cutting 42 on the lining yeah so let me cut it on the lining then i will show us how to sew it after cutting it on the lining this is the main fabric and this is the lining so you can see the lining is shorter than the fabric by two inches i'm going to drop the front and indicate the zip side so from this zip side remember we have one inch here so you take the one inch all the way down So when you get to this part, you do half inch on this part like this. So you're going to sew. So you you sew like this and sew like this. But we're not sewing yet. So I'm just showing you what to do. Let's sew now. Now you're going to take the front piece because we'll be turning it with the lining. This is the front. So you take the front of the lining also. So you open it this way. You open it this way. So let's see. Be, this is the right side. This is the wrong side. The part that have the chalk is the wrong side. So you're going to place your lining on top. You're going to place your lining on top this way. Then you start sewing from the down parts. So this is the this is the down of the skirt. So we're going to I'm going to sew it half inch. You know the lining was shorter than the fabric by two inch. So after sewing this lining together with this one with half inch, that's the right side facing the right side. So you'll be pushing. You just take this one. You take it up like this. You take it up like this. Then you sew the sides here with 0 0.25 from here you sew with 0 0.25 then when you get to this part it will be like this it will be like this so you place this one and you sew like this with 0 0.25 do you understand so you do the same thing for for the other side 
Now, that's, this is the front, the center front. So for the back, you're going to take one of the back. You know, the back is two piece. So you take one of the back and one of the back lining as well. So the same thing you, you did for the front, you're also going to do for the back. So you're going to place it on it like this. You're going to place it like this. And you'll be sewing this part here. Before you sew here, you're going to sew the down part first. You're going to sew the down part first. It's going to come like this. You sew it with half inch, the same way I did for, for the front. After sewing, you're not going to raise this one up to meet here. That is after sewing that down part first with half inch. You raise this one up to meet here. Then you sew with 0 0.25 like this. Then like this, 0 0.25. So then you sew the other side also here too with 0 0.25. So let me do that. Then I'll show you guys how it is for both the front and the back. So mates, after sewing everything, this is how it is looking like. So you notice that I only sew with 0 0.25. Now we're supposed to sew, we're supposed to have one inch zip allowance. So now that I sew with 0 0.25, what we have left is 0 0.75. I'll be turning it now. So when you are turning, you're just going to take this side and notch it a bit to the thread. Don't notch through the thread. So you turn it. So I'll turn the other ones also. So guys, after turning everything like this now, so I'm going to be pressing it. I'll iron everything. So let me iron it. You can see I've ironed it properly. Now this is the back. This is the two piece for the back. That's the, the zip side. Now remember, we added the zip allowance we are using is one inch. And by the time I sew here with 0 0.25, I'm left with 0 0.75. Yeah. So irrespective of the of the bot allowance and all what we did when we we're drafting, your zip allowance have to be one inch all the way down. But if you're using your lining to turn it, that's why I said turn with 0 0.25 so that what we, we have left is 0 0.75. If I'm doing inner sewing for this particular uh, skirt, I'm going to maintain my one inch, one inch from here all the way to this side. But because I am using lining to turn it, if I decide to do inner sewing, most of you, it's very complex. Most of you will not really understand, you know, for the first stitching. So that is why I'm using this, I'm doing this process. So you're going to take your, your tape. I will start marking 0.75. All the way down this way so you mark the 0 0.75 can you see what I'm marking it is not up to one inch so when you get to this place here just connect this it's like this so this is your 0 0.75 so when you get here you come down here by half inch from here you come down here by half inch then you you mark like this so you're sewing here like this with 0 0.75 and here with half inch so guys after sewing it this is what i have let me iron it in your presence so that you see how it is So you turn it to the back side and you're going to iron. So
so you're going to turn it like this now after you iron here open the way it is the way you see me doing like this after you iron here open you're going to have something like this can you see it so you can decide to turn it anywhere you like here or here so let's turn it here so by the time you are turning it here you're going to arrange inside here properly so you're going to arrange here properly this way yeah the way it is like this you arrange it properly then you press it so you take this one and you place it on it So when you turn it to the other side this way so you can see that it is already lapping each other so the next thing you do is just take it to the sewing machine and you sew here like this let me do that and i'll show you i don't know if you can see if you can see the stitch but i just run a stitch on it here like this it's just not much just for tightening so on the inside, look at it here, on the inside. So now the next thing we'll be doing is we'll gum it with hemi gum. This is the side you're going to open here. So this particular place that is closing is where you will gum. So you place your hemi gum inside. I'm going to run. So place your emmy gum inside like this you close it then you will use your iron to press it down so let's turn it to the other side and see So you have to iron the other side also. Okay, so guys, this is it. It is ready. This is how to sew your overlap, your overlap skirts. So if you are sewing a skirt, sew it. If you are sewing a dress, please, this is fine. Just leave it like this. Attach it to the to the upper part. But if you are sewing a skirt. On this side here, this center front here, you're going to come down here by 1.5 inches. Then you connect it like this. And you're going to take your scissors and you trim it off. But I'm not going to trim it off because I'm actually attaching it to, you know, it's a dress to the upper borders. But it's a skirt so that you can eliminate, you can sit properly so that the back will be higher than the front. And for those that have tummy, it can fit them properly. After cutting it off, you are going, I am going to cut a band of two inches band. Unfold this two inches. When you open it, it's four inches. You gum it with your paper gum and you now attach the band to the skirt. Then you fix your zip. That way your skirt is ready. But for this, I am attaching it to a dress. So I am not doing fitting for this. It's when I finish attaching it to the dress that I'll do the fitting. If you want to learn how I do fitting for my dresses, for my skirts, I'm going to drop the link of the straight skirt tutorial in the description box, the end screen. So when you click and you watch, you're going to see how I did fitting for, for that skirt, for skirt there. 